Day, a Honolulu man was sentenced for stealing pro golfer Robert Allenby's wallet and going on a shopping spree. But as KITV4's Lari Amata explains tonight, it reveals so much more about the real price of getting caught up in drugs. You know, we'd like to take full responsibility and apologize to Mr. Allenby for my, my role in his, you know, bad evening. Apologetic and asking for forgiveness. I'd like to apologize to, like, my community in Hawaii. Owen Harbison accepted his fate up to five years behind bars. In January, he found an unconscious and injured Robert Allenby. Harbison admits he took his credit cards and went to town. Uh, we have him on camera, about 60 different cameras at different places around uh, Honolulu. Using Mr. Allenby's card, buying things like liquor, gift cards, watches, sunglasses. At the time, the pro golfer admitted he'd been drinking across the street, but says he was later kidnapped, beaten up, and tossed out. I have no no problem in the world in uh, owning up to uh, if I did do something wrong, but as I said, from about 11:06 to about 1:27 a.m., I have no memory in my brain. I have nothing. Since then, Allenby's former caddy cast doubt on his story, and nobody's been arrested for kidnapping. We don't have complete information about what happened to Mr. Allenby that night. What we are sure of is that Mr. Harbison did end up with his credit cards. I just ask for mercy for him. He's sick. He needs help. In court, Harbison's father-in-law, Lou Ayala. Heartbroken, Owen's daughters, four-year-old Holly, six-year-old Lily, are suffering. They need their father, but it's sad when you... At night, you know, when you hear them dreaming and they're talking about their dad. You know, I want to come out of this better. That I just want to say to, you know, to every family out there, you know, drugs is a scourge of society. So sad his once happy son in law lost his way with drugs. A hard lesson he hopes his family can overcome. And I love him very, very much. So. Like I said, he, I hope he gets the help he needs. Laura Yamada, KITV4 News.